Hey everybody, Kenneth Russell here. Hope you're doing great. Today I'm holding in my hands this guitar. This is an Epiphone uh, master, master Built guitar and the bridge is broken off on it and I'm gonna try to fix it, so check it out. So here's the story behind this guitar. Uh, a number of months ago, perhaps even like almost a year ago, I was in Music Go Round. You can see this tag here uh, from Music Go Round in Houston, Texas. This is when Music Go Round was still in existence. It still breaks my heart that they ended up having to shut down. So if you have a Music Go Round around you, support them, buy stuff, sell stuff so they do not go out because I miss it dearly. Anyway, um, at this Music Go Round, they had a, 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 a part of the store that was like a uh, scratch and dent, more than scratch and dent because everything was used. It was kind of like a broken and didn't want to fix it section. Anyway, walked over there and I'm not sure how well you can see this, but 20 bucks. That's what he had this on there for. And what he said was uh, Chris, the owner of the store, he had, he had bought this from somebody and put it up on the wall and then like couple days later came in and the bridge had just completely popped off of the uh, the top here and matter of fact it didn't even take off the strings or anything he just kind of put it in like this and put a sticker on there and put it in the the bin and so I thought you know what I'm pretty sure I could fix that that doesn't seem like it's too too difficult bought a set of nylon strings when I uh, tune it up again and so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna kind of do like a ghetto fix on this. For 20 bucks, I didn't wanna really invest a whole lot of time. I just wanna kind of see if I can get this to, to work. I think what ends up happening is, if you can see here on the bottom of the bridge, you know, this is this part of the wood that kind of peeled up is right here. And so it seems to me like whenever this bridge was put on here, that they just kind of, that the glue that was squirted down, that's what actually stuck, but there wasn't enough to really stick to this full thing. I also noticed that it has like this, um, it's it got a really nice finish on this. I forget what that's called. It's not, I guess it's a matte finish. And I'm wondering though, if that when they built this, if they kind of did the whole finish first, and then put the bridge on top of it, which um, is very, very possible. I'm not sure, but if they did that, then it would actually be kind of gluing to the finish, and then the finish would pop off a little bit easier. So anyway, this is gonna be uh, not probably the best way to do this, but I think it's gonna work. Um, is The best thing that I think you're supposed to do is to kind of like shave all of this wood off here that, that came from the top of the guitar, and then sand this down and then uh, glue it and clamp it down. I'm gonna kind of skip that part as far as the sanding and getting this off. In my mindset, I think that if this glue, if this took off this part of the wood to begin with, like that's on there pretty good. So, and if it took off part of this wood, it's gonna glue back to itself in the same spot pretty well. If that makes sense. So I'm gonna basically just kind of find these won't these strings won't stretch far enough for me to show you, but I'm gonna find the grooves of where those were at and then glue it in. Now, in order to glue it in, it's pretty simple. You just need to get some big old C clamps. Now, like your normal C clamps that you probably have in your garage are not gonna work on this. You need like long C clamps that are long enough to reach in here and to clamp this thing down. I'm hoping that these ones that I just bought at Harbor Freight for $6.50, I think is what it was. Bought two of these, and I'm gonna, I think that's gonna be enough for me to clamp this down. Again, I think that ideally, I'd wanna actually get three of them to clamp this down, but I paid $20 for the guitar. I already spent like 13 bucks on clamps to fix the guitar. I don't wanna spend too much more money. Anyway, um, let's give this a shot and just, just see what happens. All right, I'm gonna snip off these old strings. I'm not gonna use them again. It's been a while since I've had a nylon string guitar. 
I learned classical guitar in college because we were actually a uh, classical school, so I was learning jazz guitar, but jazz didn't count for like your juries where you like had to play in front of the professors and all that. So I learned classical guitar, but actually at the time I didn't even have a classical. I had to use my my steel string guitar. They always kind of looked at me funny. And uh, then, so when I got married, I thought, you know what, I'm going to buy a classical string guitar for to, to play classical on. So I went on eBay at the time and bought an Alvarez that I had uh, not played. I played it probably a total of maybe two or three hours over the about five or six years that I owned it. And then eventually I just sold it. I, uh, I thought this is ridiculous for me to keep this. At that time, I didn't have a ton of guitars. It was like my third or fourth guitar that I had. So anyway, um, anyway, that's, I, I thought this was kind of cool because I'll be able to have a, a decent uh, nylon string guitar now that I can play classical music with. Apparently these Masterbuilt Epiphones are, are pretty good. Um, this is this is the model number of this is EN five four six C E N S. I have no idea what those numbers mean, um, but apparently the master built guitars are actually pretty decent. So I'm looking forward to seeing how this this might be. So um, what I did here is I took out the the saddle here. I'm going to set that aside. This guitar has a pickup built into it. So, um, on the underside of the bridge is a hole that this goes through. I'm putting it in here. Try to get where you can see it a little bit. And then, I'm going to pull it through. Yep, and I can, I don't know if you can see that. I'm going to just kind of, this just sn snaps right there into place. This is going to work. This is actually going to work. So, uh, again, this, you know, I do kind of some tips and tricks and stuff like that on my channel. This is probably one of the times that uh, I'm just kind of playing this one by ear. But I did watch a couple of videos on how to do it right, and I'm not doing it the right way. I'm doing it the Kenneth's way in order to, uh, to save time and energy. But we'll see what happens. Um, let me just make sure I can get these to work on here. If they're even going to fit or what's going to happen. All right. This is going to work. Alright, I'm going to put a piece of cardboard or something down here so I don't dig into this, but I just want to see if it actually will clamp underneath here. And it will. And I already scuffed it up a bit because I did not do the right thing. There we go. Okay, let's see here. Good old glue. This is Type Bond 2. I don't know what the difference between Type Bond 1, 2, and 3 is. I think it's just stronger, but I think that probably any any wood glue is going to be just fine in this endeavor. I'm going to get these guys out. This is this is getting too complicated. I'm setting them aside this way. There. There they are. Okay. And by the way, if I was working on someone else's guitar, I wouldn't be doing this this stuff. I literally, uh, I'm glad to have this guitar, but I don't, I'm not like, it was already dinged up and scratched a little bit, so I'm not treating it like it's a million dollar guitar. Even though these are decent, you can find these like on the, the, the used market for like two or three hundred bucks, I think. So it's not a bad guitar. Um, all right, so, like I was saying, Unlike when they originally did this, I'm not just going to put like a strip across here. I'm going to get some a good a good amount of glue here, squeeze it down, and then wrap up, wipe up the glue on the side. So I don't think this is something where you need to have a ton, but a good amount is good, and it's good, it's good to have. You want to have enough where you're able to. get the glue across the whole bridge back here. And I can tell that it didn't have glue across the whole bridge. Okay. I'm gonna do the same thing over here. And I put too much in there. All right. All right, 
Let's see. Yeah, there's already way too much glue in this thing. All right. On there. Like that. So I put too much glue in there. It's actually nice. It's like literally because of those grooves, it's like locking in. By the way, these are eight inch clamps. Do another layer of cleanup here. Okay. Nice. Look at that. You can see it's, I don't know if you can see that glue in the back there, but it is, uh, it is doing a good job of squeezing that out, which is good. It's what you want. I'm not putting pressure on here to where, um, like I can't do any more. I'm just putting a good pressure where I like, it's kind of finger tight. I don't know if that makes sense or not, but it's not, I'm not killing it. I don't want to in, indent the wood. I just want to, uh, to press it down and let the glue do its work. You can, sometimes, if you put too much pressure, you can dent the wood. And you can also uh, squeeze out all the glue and then it doesn't glue. But I'm definitely not doing that because I had a lot more glue under there than, than squeezed out. So I think that this is, this is going to be pretty awesome. And I think it's cool turning this $20 guitar into a decent guitar. I'll clean that up with a little bit of water too. All right, I'm going to let this sit um, here for about, mm, I'm going to say a day. One day, one day from now, I'm going to come back and see what this is like. So I'll see you in a day when, when this thing is dried. All right, well, it's been, let's see, that was two nights ago that I put these on here. And let's see what happens when we take them off. I was going to do it yesterday, but didn't get a chance to. So that's fine. A couple extra hours to let this cure. juice in there. I think it'll be all right to test. All right. Never seen this before. It's a little battery pack for the guitar. And I assume that there's a piece of, it's got a piece of Velcro right here. So I assume that there's a, a felt piece somewhere in here that that's going to stick to. I don't know where. Ah, right up against the neck. All right. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to plug up a cable to this and just see if this pickup is even working at all. Hey, it's working. So that's uh, pretty cool that Piazza pickup or under the saddle pickup, whatever that is, is gonna be, it's gonna work. All right, take a look at the, the handiwork there. There's a, you can see, I'm gonna have to do some cleaning around. There's some glue marks. I think just some water on there will work fine to take that off. Like I said before, I'm not too concerned about this guitar as far as, you know, it looks. It's got a bunch of nicks all around here. I didn't put these on here. Um, you know, it, it's been been used a little bit, but I'm uh, I'm excited to see what it's going to do. Let's see what's floating around in there now. Oh, okay. This is the, it looks like the volume pot for 
pickup. Interesting. So that should be, yep, the glue came off. That should be glued right here so that you can turn on the volume here. So, all right. Never know what you're going to get for a $20 guitar that uh, <laughs> it's potentially kind of falling apart. So this saddle here, I'm going to put back on and then string it up. This pickup, you know, it's like a braided material and you just lay it flat on here and then put the saddle on it and it picks up the vibrations. Um, so, and this guitar is very resonant just for me talking. I can, I can hear it. All right, so now we're going to go and I'm going to restring this thing up. Let me go ahead and take off this tag here for a musical round. 20 bucks. Wish it was still in business. Loved that place. Loved it. All right. Okay, so I'm, I'm not going to do a video on how to do this, but I watched a video on Martin guitars on how to string up an acoustic, or not an acoustic guitar, but a nylon string acoustic guitar, a classical guitar, and because it's, I don't even know if I've ever, maybe once or twice, stringed up a classical guitar out of the hundreds of times I've stringed up guitar strings before. So anyway, um, let me just string this up and we'll see how good this saddle stayed on here. I mean, it's, I couldn't pull that off if I wanted to. All right, let me string it up. All right, well, got it strung up here. Still out of tune here. I got it, I found this cable I got to glue back in, but. Not in the best tune right now. I don't know how long it takes for nylon strings to stretch out, but I've been playing around with this for about 20 minutes or so, and I don't know. I'm not, not used to now on strings, but um, maybe I didn't wrap them up right, or I don't know. But I think that after a little bit, it's going to um, it's going to be in better tune. But man, I think that it fixed the bridge here, and this guitar is resonant. Anyway, uh, that's me fixing the bridge on this. Uh, Epiphone Master Built. This is the EN546CENS. Wow. Anyway, um, pretty cool guitar. I'm, I'm glad that I got it for 20 bucks. Set of strings for five bucks. A little bit of glue. A couple clamps. So, including the clamps into this, I'm about 40 bucks into a decent guitar that is got a pickup in it. It's worth for maybe $200, $300, I'm not sure what they would be on the used market. If you want me to do a review of this guitar here, put it down in the comments below. Maybe I'll do a review of, of this guitar. I'm gonna to start to do that on my channel, kind of reviewing some of the guitars that I have here in my home studio. So, Kenneth Russell out. I'll see you in another video.